Hi, I'm Robert Earl White, and in 1991, a UFO crashed in my backyard, and it changed my family's lives forever. I want to thank everyone that supported part one of my documentary, and if you haven't seen it, please click the link below. Now I would like to share with you the Lower Alloways Creek Incident UFO Crash Alien Abduction. The Lower Alloways Creek Incident, Part 2, Men in Black, Uncovering New Evidence. Gregor's Keep Secrets. Now I would like to share with you the events that occurred after my mother called the authorities about the crash. 25 minutes after my mother reported the crash, U.S. Air Force and men in black arrived at our house in Lincoln Town Cars. They came inside and they sat my mom and her two friends down and handed each of them a pencil and a piece of paper and told them to write three different kinds of aliens. My mother's two friends left and they asked them to go ahead and leave and my mother began drawing. My mother drew three different kinds of aliens, a gray, a Nordic, and one she called the Blues. After this, the man from the Air Force, which was trained in hypnotism, hypnotized my mother, and what my mother revealed was groundbreaking. After this, my mother had three questions. She asked the men in black these three simple questions. Now keep in mind, we were country folk. My mother had no college education. She was 22 years old, barely finished high school. So keep this in mind. And my mother asked them, are these things dangerous? The men in black replied, if they were dangerous, do you think we would still be here? My mother said, okay. The second question my mother asked, why don't people know about these things? The men in black replied, we are doing everything we can by preconditioning people. Within the next 10 years, you will see evidence and signs of UFOs and aliens in every book, movie, and music, and all sorts of media. Then the third question was, and keep in mind, my mother just was hypnotized and had a flashback and remembered all of her alien abductions at this point. It was at this point in time where my mother realized that these things were taking her and she was worried about my elderly grandfather who lived at home with us that she took care of and me, her three-year-old son who was still a baby just about. I was walking a toddler and she asked the men in black when these things take me what happens if something happens to my grandfather or my baby and the men in black replied they use grays to stay behind and if anything was to happen to you they would have you back and he snapped his fingers like this my mother said okay thank you then the men in black said, now tomorrow, many investigators and media outlets are going to come here asking you what happened. And you will say it was a helicopter or we will take your son away. My mother was single at the time. I did not know my father. She was 22 years old and she was terrified. And they went all around this area, knocking on people's doors, asking them what they've seen, and then reassuring them that it was a helicopter. So the following day, as you can read in the articles below, when you read about the news article that she did for the news on TV, you can see why she's so adamant about saying it was a helicopter. These men in black completely intimidated my mother. This is why people have stayed quiet about this till now. While all of this was occurring, first responders arrived to the scene 30 minutes after the initial call was made. While they were approaching, they saw deep
gouges freshly made in the marsh. And as they approached a little farther ahead, they saw a U.S. Coast Guard boat sitting in the water and a few men on land, which told them the situation is under control and they ordered them to turn back around. After releasing part one, I had many eyewitnesses come forward with their story. I want you to keep in mind, this is a small town. And here, all we have is our word and our reputation. And these are really good people here. But they are not willing to jeopardize that to be rejected and ridiculed. So some of these stories that I'm about to read to you are blocked out to protect their names. I beg these people to come forward and they do not want to be involved. And when you see what is really going on, I hope that you will understand. Hi Robert, yes, I remember when this happened and Beth told us about the visit she had from the Men in Black. Yesterday I reached out to another friend that was friends with your mom and asked him, do you remember Beth telling him? And he did. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't my imagination. I remember when this happened and Beth told us that the Men in Black came to her house and interviewed them and told them not to talk about it and that was right after it happened. Well, I was his mother's friend and I recall the incident. I was 22 and I remember her telling me of her dream prior to the crash. They, the military, did pull something out of the area on a flatbed and it was covered with a tarp. That was never in the news, but it was witnessed by some, including myself. Your mom was even on a TV show where she spoke of her experience. Later, she was put into a hypnotic state to answer questions. She would have these MUFON interviews in Grandpop's room. The things Beth would say in the interviews was astounding as she had no real memory of the events she described. They attempted to record these interviews, but they experienced some type of interference that made it impossible. She spoke about different types of aliens, blues and grays. She mentioned them coming to her at night. Yes, I remember this. A few of my friends were first responders. I saw your LIC incident video. I remember when that happened. At the time, several of my friends were active in the firehouse. They shared when they got to the site, they could see big gouges in the marsh, but the Coast Guard was already there and told them, turn back, situation under control. At the time, we suspected a UFO, but there was nothing announced. Keep up the good work. This is exactly what my family saw that night. If you have any comments or would like to share your story, please subscribe and leave your comments below. Stay tuned for part three, which will be August 16th, and we will dive more into the alien abduction. Thank you so much. The Lower Alloways Creek Incident, part two. Thanks for watching. Crackers keep secrets.